incredible journey of the human race is a fascinating but mysterious story, as there are many questions that still need to be answered before we can truly understand how we became one of the most unique creatures on the planet. Our species, the Homo sapiens, have spread across pretty much the entire planet. But where do we come from? This is one of the biggest debated questions within the topic of human evolution, and there are many intriguing theories. But the two major ideas are the Out of Africa model and the Multi-Regional model. The Multi-Regional model suggests that human ancestors spread across the planet around 2 million years ago and formed regional groups of early humans. Modern humans then evolved from them at similar times in all of these regions rather than from one single group. However, the Out of Africa model, which is currently the most favoured explanation, suggests that modern humans evolved within the last 200,000 years in Africa from one single group, and then spread around the world. But the true origin of the modern human is still widely debated. There currently is no definitive answer as to why we do not have a full body of fur like our ape cousins. However, there are some compelling theories. One of the earlier suggestions was that humans lost their fur after briefly adapting to a life in the water. However, this theory has been largely discredited because of the lack of evidence. Another idea is that our ancestors lost their fur due to the hot savanna from which they originated, which allowed their bodies to stay cooler by sweating. Many other theories have been put forward also, from losing fur to help prevent infestation, to allowing us to communicate better. But currently, scientists do not know why we are the boldest apes in the group. The modern human brain is the largest and most complex of any living primate. There is no doubt that it has given us an extraordinary advantage above all other creatures on the planet. But why did our ancestors' brains become so much better than our ape cousins? One theory is that a large brain capable of processing new information has a big advantage during times of dramatic climate change. Another is that the added intelligence meant that tools could be created and used, resulting in more efficient hunting. Or maybe it was to help our ancestors interact better with each other, potentially promoting survival. Having a big brain, however, does have its disadvantages, as it uses 20% of your oxygen supply and gets 20% of your blood flow. It also makes childbirth more difficult and painful for human mothers than any other primate. But what triggered the growth of our super complex brains is still far from being fully understood. Around 30,000 years ago, modern humans, the Neanderthals, the Denisovans, and the so-called Hobbits of Flores roamed the planet. But today, only we remain. So why did we manage to survive, but all of our closest relatives became extinct? One theory suggests that modern humans encroached on the habitats of the Neanderthals, displacing them, resulting in their extinction. The hobbits may have been wiped out by a natural disaster, as they were located on one small island, making them vulnerable. But the extinction of the Denisovans is unexplained, as scientists have only a small finger bone and two teeth to analyse. However, could it be possible that our species was just lucky and survived? Maybe one day we will discover the answer, but for now, the mystery remains. Many theories suggest that human evolution has slowed to a cruel or even stopped. However, some scientific studies have evidence that humanity is not only still evolving, but that human evolution is actually accelerating, maybe up to a hundred times faster. Scientists say that the rate of evolution is far greater in the last few thousand years than it has been in the millions of years before, and that the cause might be related to a population boom, resulting in a higher likelihood that an advantageous genetic mutation will arise and spread. Many clues have been discovered that suggest we are still evolving, like the relatively new gene that allows us to digest lactose as adults or the discovery that our brains seem to have shrunk within the last 30,000 years. 
However, these changes take place over long periods of time, so maybe only the humans of the future will know the truth of our evolution. So if you enjoyed this video and want some more incredible facts about human beings, you're in luck because if you click on the video showing now, you can have 101 facts about the human body. The video is from a great YouTube channel called 101 Facts and I definitely recommend checking out some of their contents and while you're at it, maybe hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Should you be dipping your toothbrush into pee? Why should Superman be peanut butter and jealous of you? Are we human or are we dancer? Two out of three of those questions are about to be answered, so ride your blood cells down the nearest blood stream like white water rafting while looking down at yourself and shouting, I'm magnificent. This is 101 facts about the human body.